Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, uh, tutorials. So today we are going to install Laravel 7 on our VAMP server. So let's start it and uh, we'll give you a step-by-step -step guide uh, about how to install Laravel 7. First thing you have to do is just uh, go to composer site and install the composers. That is very important step. So we have already the site open so you can see here uh, first thing either you can do uh, and download this composer.exe thing and uh, it will install for you uh, otherwise you have to install via this way which is command line and then uh, run these commands for that one you have to run php um, with php and uh, for php to run you have to set up environment variables so we will give you update a little bit later on but uh, how to set the environment variable but uh, this is the step first thing is either download this composer uh, setup.exe or you can run via this way so there are two methods uh, whatever you would prefer use those ones but i think this is the simplest one so you can go and simply install composer the next step is basically uh, as i said you have to set up uh, environment variables um, and if you want to run these commands, you have to set PHP first of all in environment variables, and also you have to set composer uh, also in um, in um, environment variables. So let's go and install variable, uh, set the path of environment variables. Um, so here is my file explorer. So if you go to uh, this PC, click on this PC, there you will see all those. Uh, uh, things and then click on properties and it will open up this Windows 10 thing click on advanced system settings and you will open up with this bit and you see advanced and settings and then environment variables click on it and then you will see there are different paths set up but the important thing for us is basically basically this path one so cl click on this one and click edit here you will see all the paths set up for the environment so um, um, the most important for us now is the composer one so you see this one is c user and then all the path here um, and you can see there uh, all the path uh, where it has installed uh, when you install automatically this is the path it usually store but when you install it you can give your own path and then remember that path and then put it here uh, second thing is the php so php uh, wherever your vamp is then bin bin directory php and then uh, php 7.3 or whatever php you are using we will take you uh, take you through uh, where that is so so you know where uh, the path is so let's go and uh, click on our drive c then users then my name and then you will see app data but usually you won't see it because uh, this is hidden folder uh, so for that one click on this view thing and then option and change folders and search options and then you will see in view if you click on this one and apply it you will not see that app folder so basically open this one and then you will see the app data here so app data is here then roaming and then composer after that vendor folder and then that is the path where you have to put the bin path so this is bin uh, and then just copy this whole path and just set up here click on edit or uh, click on new and then set up here so i'm not going to do it because it's already set up for me and the next thing is the, the php path so uh, for that one you have to go to C drive again and wherever you install your VAMP, VAMP, VAMP server so VAMP64 I've installed then this is the bin folder and then PHP uh, click on PHP and there are different version of PHP uh, and PHP 7.3 uh, 7.3 I'm using it at the moment so you can use any version you would like but for Laravel 7 you have to have like minimum PHP 7.3 so this is a minimum you need to have it 
you can have 7.4 but uh, you can't have 5.6 because it is quite old so uh, if you haven't have uh, 7.3 and uh, then you have to install it uh, update it or even update your vamp server uh, so you need to have like 7.3 plus a version for uh, laravel 7. Step three is basically um, we have to go to Laravel site and find the uh, installation link. So if you go to Laravel, so this is laravel.com and let me open it. So this is laravel.com. So you can see this is laravel.com. And now if you click on documentation and the first thing you will see is the installation guide. So basically installation guide is here these are the php extension you have to have it uh, if you want to install uh, laravel 7 actually it is 7.2.5 uh, the version minimum requirement i was wrong 7.3 i was saying but like 7.3 is better uh, but you have to have 7.2 plus uh, 5 um, you know so um, get that one then these are the um, extension i think the, these are prerequisites so, so if you install php and they will be pretty much there but you have to have those one installed if not then they will give you error and then you have to install one of those i'm not going to go in that process because i think i have done everything so i'm not sure like way to go and um, check like how how when i've installed those ones so so for that i think uh, go for it and then search in google and they will give you extension even though i don't think so you have to install anything but let's go uh, next to do next thing so there are two ways uh, of installing and uh, laravel and first one is laravel installer uh, you can do this one uh, for that you know you have to set up the pass uh, path uh, here and uh, and uh, that is the only way you can uh, use it um so so you can use basically this this one i usually uh, you know um, installing of this one is basically then when you install a new laravel you just need to cre create this this thing and then that will uh, install laravel for you but i usually uh, use this uh, method which is create project and this everything just copy this one uh, and uh, go to your command line so i'm just going to open my command line as well see md So, so this is my command line uh, you can see that here i'm just going to paste it here so you see this is there but it will don't install it here i think this is a little bit wrong so first you have to go to vamp 64 www folder so cd c vamp 64 www so this is the path now right click on it and it will copy everything for you uh, whatever the name you want to give for for example blog or um, test blog and then just press enter it will take a little bit time actually it has to pull all the files and download it uh, but bear with us and you will see uh, something is happening but um, as it is doing something uh, let me oh actually it has started so let let it finish so you know what's going on uh, so it is installing something sometimes it take a little bit time just because it has to download all the files so you can see installing laravel 7.2 7.25.0 uh, 100 percent is downloaded it has created the environment file so environment files i will give you uh, uh, i will give you some tutorial about it but uh, let's do it and install laravel first so now it is uh, downloading all the dependent and uh, <laughs> dependencies um, and when when it will install it then uh, we will uh, set up our fourth step and last step and that is basically let's go and uh, set the virtual host on our vamp server so let's go and uh, while it is it is downloading and uh, let's go and start our vamp server so we can basically um, ready for all 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 the other things so 
uh, the VAMP server is ready. So I'm just going to open here localhost and it is still running. So just bear with us. Saying nothing. Let's see the progress of it. So progress is still is waiting. So now it's starting to download other things, but uh, VAMP server is now running. So let's go and go to local host. Now, next thing you have to do is click on add a virtual host as we did it before. So I will put Lara Lara world dot local. Uh, and then here will be the path of what we have created. So I'll give, take you to the path. So C uh, ram 64 www. And then you will see this is the test log we set. And we put it there. So we have to take this whole path and take to take to and just paste it here one important thing which you have to do is basically once you put this whole path you have to do change this one to forward slash and then you have to see here uh, public so public is the folder where lara will go and find the index file um, so I'm just going to do and, and click on this one and it will, it has said like it has made the Laravel local, but you have to restart the DNS. It is the old process. So let's see uh, and see how our uh, progressing of installation of Laravel is going on. So you can see it has installed quite a lot of uh, packages uh, and is still installing it. So let it install and meanwhile we restart our uh, DNS so we will be ready uh, when everything will um, download it. So right click on your VAM server which you might not be able to see. Uh, so for the restart DNS, uh, how can I show you because it is in my, okay. So basically you have to go and uh, uh, restart your DNS. So I've clicked on it. Um, so let's see the progress. So it has installed everything. Um, it is now generating the log files. And once it will give us our um, C path again, that means it has installed everything. So there you go. Um, there you go. We have seen this one, and which, which means like everything has been installed. So we have set up our, our path as well. So let's go and click on localhost laravel.local. Laravel.local. Once you do it, it will take you here, but just wait for a bit and it will give you, no, it's not, oh, it is, it is coming. So there is, it says like, did you mean to go to Laravel local? Um, yes, we wanted to go there. And there you go. And we have a Laravel installed in our local host. So congratulations, you have installed Laravel on your local PC. Uh, one thing I want to take you through, and that is basically uh, guide you through environment variables. So let me open the whole folder for you. And this is the folder where we have installed our um, so, so this is all the files you have. Um, so you can see here is the environment.env file. That is a file very important um, because the, the, all the database settings, all the other settings you do uh, in this file. So you can see the DB, DB connection. Um, so you can go to phpMyAdmin, uh, which will be 
on your local host, set up database and give the path and username and actually database name and uh, database username and password here and then it will start working. So this is the first step. Uh, again, I said this is installation of uh, Laravel which is installed and the next step will be uh, how to make things happen in Laravel. So I will give you some more uh, tutorial on that, but like for this is the first step uh, to install Laravel, uh, which is quite hard, but I'd make it very simple for you. If you have any question, just let me know and I will try to give you uh, as many answers as I can. Um, and uh, we already set this one up. Um, so this is how you install Laravel uh, on a WAM server. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Take care, bye bye.